We are hearing a one-of-a-kind story from an employee in Portage whose quick thinking may have saved several lives. This happened just as the EF2 tornado was on top of the city and people were scrambling into a Walgreens to take cover. News Channel 3's Autumn Pitcher is joining us live there now. And Autumn, you talked to the pharmacy operations manager who kept families safe. Yes, Jessica, people are calling Michael Center a hero. Now, the pharmacy operations manager was able to think quick on his feet, and he got several families with young children in the store and several families coming into the store seeking shelter into a cooler so that they could be safe. And even though it was cold in there, he says he was more worried about their lives. We were the lucky ones. Julia Micah had just picked up her 12 year old son Harrison from basketball practice when alert made them aware a tornado was coming in their direction. I decided we needed to get in somewhere and I was like, what about Walgreens? Harry, what about Walgreens? <laughs> um, I was like, it's a brick building. Let's get in there. And he was like, okay, yeah. Without hesitation, Julia whipped into the parking lot and ran into Walgreens with Harrison. While many other families and customers were scared inside, Can you type in the last four of your phone number. Pharmacy operations manager Michael Center kept his calm and moved quickly to get people in a safe spot, the cooler. So this is our walk-in cooler where we took shelter. Center gave me a look inside the tiny space where people crammed into. The cooler is a big, solid metal and concrete structure. So just from the way that it's built, I assumed that it would be safer. A chilly spot to be, but Center says their lives were more important. I was in task mode. I shut down everything else in my brain and was just making sure everybody was calm and safe. And the pharmacist made it so much better. I mean, he there gave, were... He gave coats to people. Uh, yeah, he, he gave me a big, nice, warm coat. That was very nice. Harrison grabbed a stuffed <laughs> animal off a store shelf to calm his nerves. Then it kept me warm. Yeah, helps keep you warm in the cooler. And you can put your hands in it, but it's meant to flip. Yeah, he just meant to, like, he just grabbed it as, like, a comfort thing. And despite his fear, the 12-year-old finding humor in a scary situation, taking a photo he'll always remember. <laughs> That's funny, you just took a picture. <laughs> the squishmallow's even I in know. it. <laughs> Wait, what? Julia says Center's training and experience yeah. as a former elementary school teacher years ago made all the difference. Michael was amazing to be in his presence during something so stressful with, it, it with children. It. it made it so much better. It did. It I, been, I would have been freaking out way more if he wasn't there. Yeah. Families and employees were in the cooler for about a half hour until the tornado passed, and thankfully everyone was able to make it out okay. Now, while Michael says he hopes he never has to go through a situation like this ever again, he says he's thankful that he's prepared. Live in Portage, Autumn Pitcher, News Channel 3. I'm Jessica Harthorn. Thanks for watching. If you like this video, there's plenty more to see. Just take a second and subscribe to our channel.